Mira's pulling, Brancil entranced on the sled Until it breaks and they're trapped by Walking Dead A black lad rider fights off the whites with a vengeance Shows his face, it's the long lost Uncle Vengeance And the headline online calls this a shocker Bran will have to confront the King White Walker Common finally meets with Marjorie at the sept where she's been kept. She claims that she regrets her perjury, faith and punishment she'll accept. Backed by force and on his horse, Jamie faces his priest opponent says since Marjorie shown remorse there's no need for the walk of atonement the high sparrow announces to lords and commons space and crown are one the decisions commons this cleric completely outmaneuvers noble houses the shakers and the movers it's clear that he's got the upper hand when the king relieves Jamie of his command. Gilly comes with Samuel Tarly, home to Horn Hall, a gorgeous place. He wants to parley, but dad's so gnarly, though mom and sis are full of grace. Family dinners, tents and chili, Randall's cruel, but he says that Gilly can stay there with little Sam, her childling, till he finds out she's a wildling. Sam used to think that the day would never come when he'd return to the castle where he's from. But when his father disowns him talking smack, he can be sure he is never coming back. It's not a place for his offspring to be growing. He'll try to take him to Old Town where he's going. He's clever. Sees he'll never be Lord. So he steals his dad's sword. Walder Frey tells his bastard and legal son that they're losers for losing River Run. He'll take no lip from these drips since they let it slip. They've still got Edmure to use as a bargaining chip. He's really mad on his owner, it's a stain. But he'll have Lannister help in the campaign. Arya Stark begins to think what a decent sore her target seems. Puts the poison in her drink, but seconds later spills the schemes. Jock can tell the wave to snuff her quickly, but don't make her suffer. Arya knows that strength and speed'll decide the fight, she'll need her needle. I guess she realized watching the Bravos players portray events to which she had been a witness that her girl rejects the faceless slayers. She's not cut out for the hired killer business. Cersei Walder and Gregor, she's put her purse on all of them social murder when it's personal. And now Daenerys is heading for Marine with the biggest colossar ever seen. And she goes off, but just where she won't inform us, flies back on her dragon. It's enormous, her plans for conquest are near complete. She's got an army, an air force, just needs a fleet. She gives the speech about seizing back the throne. The men in iron suits and the houses of stone. And wooden horses like Adela the Hun. We heard the same speech from Drogo in season one.